Hi everybody, welcome back to the Coffee Table Talk Show. I'm Wesley. I'm Savannah. And today we're doing a lot of crazy stuff. So, we are going to be reviewing Chameleon uh, Coffee uh, from the brand Chameleon. And uh, yeah, that's going to be awesome. But first, if you guys watched our last video where we ranked and tried a bunch of different cold brews, we kind of did a blind guess of which cold brew was which using like these tiny cups. Um, there was a lot of bad ones and a lot of good ones. Well, we took the top four of those cold brews, mixed them together to create the infinity cold brew, <laughs> which is this <laughs> right here. So we're actually going to try them and see if it's garbage or good. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely go check it out. It is awesome. We're not going to tell you what's in here, uh, but we have some really, really good stuff. Um, ooh, this looks good. It, it smells good. Does it smell Honestly, good? Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that does. It smells caramely. It does smell caramely. I like that. All right. Let's try it. Bottoms up. Cheers, clink. <laughs> it's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad. Great. It's not <laughs> great. It's not bad. It's uh, better than like um, a Seven Eleven coffee. Oh, it's definitely. It's better than like most gas station coffee. I would say this. I get a strong note of honey out of it. Yeah, I can honey, actually Honey, and actually that. I get a tiny touch of lavender, which is something I'm getting out of that. Um, I like it. I think it tastes great, actually. Yeah. I like it. I think it's not the greatest. There's definitely a lot of greater ones. Uh, but yeah, definitely go check out that video just to see what it is and see if you, uh, you could guess the coffees as, as we went along. So uh, we're going to move on. We've actually um, got the first one we're going to try is this chameleon right here. This dark and handsome, it says it has notes of smoky dark chocolate. Um, it's a multi-origin coffee. It comes from Peru, Guatemala, and Sumatra. So this is this one right here. Um, it's got notes of dark cocoa and an aroma that just don't quit is what it says on the back. <laughs> so really excited to try this one. That's going to be the first one we try. So cheers. It smells really strong. I'm just going to take a tiny sip. I am getting that chocolate taste from it. Too. I am too, yeah. yeah. It is bold. It is a bold um, Very. tasting coffee. Yeah. It has a really acidic taste, in my opinion. It's got that, it's definitely tastes like a, like a, uh, it tastes like a Folgers bold. Like, yeah, I can see Yeah, that. it's kind of different. Um, not bad. I mean, I would I would drink this in the morning. I would drink this. Um, it definitely is one of those like very different types of coffee. Oh yeah. Um, that has a high acidity. I feel like. Yeah. I would I would probably add some like cream and sugar to mine. Yeah. If I were to drink it, I think that would help with um how bold it is. Yeah. For me anyway, but it's good. It is good. Yeah. It is very good. All right, we're gonna move on to this one right here, which is. The Guatemala, so it's a single origin. It says it has notes of milk, chocolate, and citrus. Mm -hmm. So we'll be looking for that. Um, but yeah, you know, it comes straight from Guatemala. And this one's a medium roast. This one is a medium roast, which the first one I think is also, oh no, this one's a dark roast. So we have a dark roast and a medium roast. Um, so this one should not be as bold and should give us more of like a lighter, um, a, like less acidic taste, which yeah. hopefully, That's fingers good. crossed. I have my, as you can tell, it's like Christmas time, festive mug, so <laughs> very excited about that. That's okay, I've got my penguin. All right, here we go. It smells very different. It tastes very different. There's a... Whoa. <laughs> there's a distinctive taste between both. Which one do you like more, right off the bat? Me, personally, I like... I like the first one better. I like the second one better. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I think this one is is less straightforward, if that makes sense. And I like the citrusy hints in it um, more than that very dark, very bold first one. Yeah. No, I, I really like, actually, the first one more. I get that darker chocolate. But I'm also really fan, uh, like a big dark chocolate fan. That's true. So that's cool to see that our taste buds are working like that. Um, there's definitely a difference, though. This has, I think it has a less acidic taste. Um, but it definitely, it definitely tastes darker. I will say that. I, yeah, no, I, I definitely like this, the second one more. He keeps making faces over Ooh, here, but 
tastes like sour. I like this one more. It tastes sour almost, in my opinion. Well, it is citrusy. It so. is citrusy. I do and get that. Yeah. I think naturally it has a lighter taste yeah. being a medium roast yeah. um, versus our dark roast that we tried. No, it is a lot different for sure. Yeah. Well, cool. What would you rate this one, the first um, one? I would probably rate that one as like a 5.5 out of 10. 5.5? I think I'd give it a good solid 6 out of 10. I think that one is a good 6 out of I 10. I think I could agree with you on 6, actually. Maybe hit it up a half. <laughs> and what would you give this one? Um, 7. I'm going to give it a of 10. 4 out of 10. Ouch. I didn't like Ouch. it. Ouch. I didn't like it at all. Not at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all we got for you today. That's uh, that's the Coffee Table Talk Show. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm stuttering. That last, <laughs> that last coffee, like, ugh, knocked, It was fun. Knocked me off my rocker. <laughs> Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see all of you in the next episode of the Coffee Table Talk Show. Bye. Bye.